My name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 12. The problem is already on the blackboard. It says show that the expression, show that this expression that is given to us, x squared minus 4x minus 21, this expression here, equals 0 when x equals 7 and and when x equals negative 3. So we have to show it show we have to do two, two twice the work. First we have to show that this expression equal equals 7 when x assumes the value of this expression equals 0 that is when x assumes the value of 7 and then again when x assumes the value of negative 3. Let's give this expression a name. Let's Let's christen this expression. Christen means, christen has two meanings. Literally, literally it means to baptize somebody. And it, literally it means uh, to baptize somebody, to christen somebody. And uh, metaphorically it simply means to give somebody a name or something a name. So let's christen this expression, let's call it, let's christen this expression, y. So we're, we're going to call this expression y. So y equals x squared minus 4x minus 21. All of this work that I'm doing right now is not necessary at all in order to answer, in order to show this part. I'm doing this thing so that you get used to the language of the algebra. This is how, this is how it's going to be written now, because we have called this expression we have called this expression y, this expression right here, we're calling it, we're giving it a name, y. So then y equals this. And what we are asked to find is the value of the expression y when x equals 7. This part right here, this part, the way we wrote here is uh, y, this thing here, it shows us the value of the expression value of the expression, this expression that is, which, which is what we're calling y, value of the expression y, which is what this is, value of the expression y when x equals 7. Now, had we called this expression something else, watch this, had we called this expression something else, let's christen this expression a, in which case this would have been a and this would have been a. Question is how do you read this thing in mathematics? This is this is the English translation of, of this part here. How do you read it in mathematics? This is read as a of seven. So if somebody says find the a of seven, what they're telling you is that they have this expression which they have named a. And they want you to find the value of this expression when x assumes the value of seven. That's what it is. A of seven. Let's find the a, a of 7. I'm going to put it here. A of 7. I'm going to do it one more time in a, another different color just to make you understand the, uh, uh, the language of it and, uh, and, and to lose your fear, this intimidation of this being a foreign language. Had we called this, had we called this, first we called it y, then we called it a. Had we called it alpha, this would have been alpha of 7. And this would have been alpha. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. It's just a name that we're giving to this expression so this is convenient to talk about this expression. You see? It's every two seconds I said this expression, this expression, this expression. It's annoying. So we call it alpha. Let's find the value of alpha instead of saying this expression. So alpha of 7 would be, you substitute wherever we see Wherever we see x, we substitute 7. So it becomes 7 squared minus 4 times 7 minus 21. Let's see what this is. 7 squared is 28 minus 4 times 7 is also 28 minus 21. And that does not equal 0. Something has gone wrong. Yes, something has indeed gone wrong because 7 squared, because 7 squared is not 28. 7 squared would be 49. 7 squared would be 49. 
because our job is to show that it is equal to 0. So 49 minus 28 gives us 1, 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, and of course 21 minus 21 will give us 0. Voila, we just showed it. Now let's show, let's show, let's show that in a different color again. Now we're going to show, now we're going to show that the alpha of negative 3 also equals 0. So first let's put down the expression x squared. Our expression which we're calling, oh this y no longer exists because we changed its name, didn't we? We're calling it alpha. So alpha equals x squared minus 4x minus 21. Let's find the alpha of negative 3. Of course, you have never seen this thing being called alpha. It's always y. It's always y, not because it has some significance, as that's what I'm trying to make you understand, not because it has any significance at all. We always see y because that's just a tradition. Tradition dictates, convention dictates, that if I'm going to, if my expression is expressed in x, it makes life easier to call this thing y because they go in alphabetical order. But we could call it a, we could call it b, we could call it alpha, we could call it monkey, hippo, dinosaur, whatever you like, it doesn't matter. It's just a name. It's just a name. So alpha of negative 3 would be negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 3 minus 21. Negative 3 squared is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. So this is 9. Negative times negative will give us positive. Positive 12. And of course 9 plus 12 is 21. Minus 21 would be 0. Voila, we have shown, we have shown just now that this, this expression equals 0 when x equals 7 and when x equals negative 3. That's all there was. That's the end of it. That's the end of the lesson for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 13. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, you can send me an email. Go to any of these website addresses that you see there and you can send me an email. Or you can go to keshwaniprep.com and get hold of me from there by sending an email, of course. All right? Thanks.